What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is for today, bringing you guys back with a brand new addition to Avatar The Last Airbender. Today, we are going to be watching episode number 14 entitled City of Walls and Secrets. Now, last episode, we actually made it to Ba Sing Se, the big city with the Great Wall, and we found out that there was actually a drill that was heading towards the wall where the Fire Nation was actually going to try to overrun the place. Thankfully, Avatar did his work, so did the squad, Katara, Sokka, and Toph. We actually got that drill out of the picture, out of the equation and we actually protected Ba Sing Se. So now I guess we're just going to be entering the village, or should I say the massive city of Ba Sing Se. And hopefully we can find Appa somewhere here, right? Because homie is still gone. I miss that guy. We haven't seen him in so, so long. I think since the library episode, right? It's, it feels like forever ago. And I, I miss Appa. So hopefully we can find Appa inside of Ba Sing Se, man. I know Aang's been hoping to actually see him and find him, but we had to deal with that drill first. So now that the drill out of the equation now we got to find appa but hopefully you guys are excited for this episode man episode number 14 entitled city of walls and secrets if you guys are excited you guys already know what to do be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel that'd be greatly appreciated also bear in mind that i do in fact have a patreon so if you guys do want to go through and view four reaction videos get early access content and exclusive series reactions you guys can find all of that over there on the patreon page over there we have exclusive shows like One Piece, Dragon Ball, Kanesuba, All Noah Zero, God of High School, No Bless, and many, many more to come in the future. So be sure to check out the Patreon for exclusive series reactions if you guys are interested. It does go a long way. All the support over there on the Patreon page is tremendous, so I appreciate all of you guys over there. But needless to say, episode number 14 of Avatar The Last Day of Bender Book 2, I'm excited. Let's see what this episode is all about. What in the world is that? <laughs> Is that a train powered by earth bending? That is so cool. Look, the inner wall. Oh. Wait, there is a inside the wall, there is a wall protecting the village. That is awesome. They have like double defenses and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll find Appa. It's such a big city. He's a giant bison. That we is true. If, if we could probably find him, no matter where he is. I mean, he's massive. And there's only, like, what? One flying bison in the world? Oh, my God. Okay, maybe we might have trouble finding finding Appa. Jesus, this place is bigger than I thought. Is this, like, the biggest city in the Avatar world or what? It definitely is a good contender, if not. Just a bunch of walls and rules. <laughs> Toph hates rules. Ah, uh, is he gonna be able to hear it? Forgot we still have the bison whistle. Hopefully he's here. He's here. I can feel it. Hopefully. What in the world? What's up with that creepy smile? My name is Judy. You're a little too excited. <laughs> we have information about the Fire Nation army that we need to deliver to the Earth King immediately. Yes, we do. Let's begin our tour. Did you hear us? <laughs> Maybe you missed what I said. We need to talk to the king about the war. It's important. Yeah, we got good information. Everyone is safe here. <laughs> Wait, she's a little creepy, bro. I don't know about her. This place looks awesome, though. It honestly looks like a... What's that wall for? That city from uh, Attack on Titan, almost. Shiganshina? This place definitely would be a great place against the Titans. <laughs> With that massive wall. Oh, those guys look like scary people. Step, Why do they have all these poor people blocked off in one part of the city? Hmm, I don't know about this place, man. I'm not fully digging it. I mean, it's awesome. Beautiful to look at, but it's kind of scary. Oh my god. I just want a new place to look nice in case someone brings home a lady. <laughs> Iroh, I love Iroh. Life happens wherever you are, whether you make it or not. Mmm, with the wisdom. All right, on to their new lives, but... Look at them. Firebenders living right under everyone's nose. Just suspicious. And it's crazy because he's right. They are firebenders, but leave us alone. What if he is? Are we supposed to attack them? Right? Like, starting over here, changing our ways. didn't y'all come here for a new start? Just drop it and go about your way. We discovered information about the war that is absolutely crucial for the king to hear. <laughs> One of the oldest buildings in the middle ring, Town Hall. She does not want to talk about the war, huh? She only seems to hear every other word I say. <laughs> every other word I say. <laughs> that is facts. Hmm. I don't like that girl, man. She's a little creepy. A little too happy. I don't know. Well, you certainly look like official tea servers. <laughs> Ira definitely does. Does this possibly come in a larger size? <laughs> I have extra string in the back. 
Have some tea while you wait. Ah. Uh, every tea that he drinks besides his own that he makes is horrible. We'll have to make some major changes around here. <laughs> some major changes. Oh my goodness. Iron knows how to make good tea, man. What is this like the main place? The main uh headquarters, council house? I don't even know. Who are the mean looking guys in robes? What in the world? The Dai Li, the cultural authority of Ba Sing Se. Oh. They are the guardians of all our traditions. Oh, so they're like uh Ambu type people from Naruto. Your request for an audience with the Earth King is being processed. Oh nice. Be put through in about a month. A month? Six to eight weeks, actually. Oh my god. We don't have that kind of time. I think you'll really enjoy it here. I think we'd enjoy it more if we weren't staying so long. I know, we gotta get we gotta get going. We should spend our time looking proper. He's gotta be somewhere in this city, man. I hope Aang finds him. Oh, I won't get in the way. And to leave you alone would make me a bad host. <laughs> leave us alone. You're kind of annoying. I'm gonna be honest. He's kind of annoying and creepy. If someone wanted to sell a stolen animal without anyone knowing. Where would they go? The black market? The black Yo, the black market. <laughs> Better talk. Oh, she said don't talk. That would be illegal. What in the world? I don't like the authority here, bro. They're weird. And the title of the episode is like Secrets of the of the City or something, right? So some secrets we don't know about about this place. Which of your professors could we ask about the war with the Fire Nation? Uh Don't talk. Ah, oh, they don't like talking about the war. I'm not a political science student. I have to get to class. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, I got him nervous. He knows I guess he knows that the authority here is weird. This girl needs to get off our back. Someone will be over with dinner later. Leave us alone. Let us have a little bit of freedom. I'm starting to not like this place. Oh, hi. Hey, come with me. Is that the cabbages guy? Was that the cabbages guy? Hold on, wait a second. I heard you were in town. I'm Pong. Pong. Why is everyone here so scared to talk about the war? Facts. War? Scared? What do you mean? What in the North Korea is going on in this city, bro? I've waited three years to get this house. I don't want to get into trouble. Oh, so it's not the cabbages guy. It looked like him, I, I thought. You can't mention the war here. And whatever you do, stay away from the Dai Li. The Dai Li, ooh. Scary business happening in this place. Would you like a pot of tea? Yo, Jet's really stalking him like this? I'm sick of tea. <laughs> sick of tea? That's like being sick of breathing. <laughs> I love Iroh so much. I borrowed our neighbors. Good job, Iroh. Does he know he's being uh, stalked or something? Maybe he's just being really cautious in the city. No fire bending at all. I guess after that one incident where Iroh heated up his tea, Zuko's like, hey, never again. I know how we're gonna see the Earth King. How? How are we supposed to do that? One doesn't just pop in on the Earth King. <laughs> That's what the lady said. The palace will be packed. We can sneak in with the crowd. Oh, sneaking in, okay. A real society crowd would spot you a mile away. You've got no manners. You're one to talk. You're not exactly Lady Fancy Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> she is part of the Bay Fog family, so she probably knows manners. She just decides not to use them. You could teach us. Yeah, I'm mastering every element. How hard can manners be? All right, we gonna learn some manners? Avatar Aang, how you do go on? <laughs> You two would be lucky to pass as bus boys. Yikes. What is it, rock, paper, scissors, but with the elements? Oh, wow. They got dressed up. You look beautiful. Oh, my God, Egg. He's like, that's my sister, bro. <laughs> okay, so they're dressed fancy. Hopefully, they can put in work. Sneaking in the palace. Oh, my God, Momo. Momo, are you being fancy? <laughs> That's amazing. This show makes me laugh so much. You can probably tell by watching the reaction series. If you guys watched up until this point, this show makes me laugh a lot. Oh, great. It's you guys. Where have you been? I could use some help with surveillance here. <laughs> surveillance? Bro, you're being weird. I think you're becoming obsessed with this. You're straight up stalking them. We came here to make a fresh start. But you won't let this go, even though there's no real proof. It's crazy because he's right, but he is acting really crazy. Maybe you've forgotten about how the Fire Nation left us all homeless? That is right. I mean, he has, like, this hatred towards Fire Nation, so if he finds out, like, a little suspicion that they are Fire Nation, which he does, I get why he's going all out like he is. This is the best tea in the city. <laughs> hey, Ira runs things around here now. I think you're due for a raise. Oh! Oh my god, Jet. These two men are firebenders. You're crazy. We gotta fight. 
Oh my god. We actually might have to fight. Don't fire Bend at all. I saw the old man eating his tea. Right now he looks like the crazy one. He's a firebender, I'm telling you. Yeah, he looks like the crazy one. You want a show? Oh. I'll give you a show. Oh, okay. Hey, Zuko with the dual blades, blue spirit style. Oh my god, look at the animation on this. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> the choreography for this fight already is insane. Ooh, a little freeze frame. Okay, okay, okay. Back here with uh, Katara and uh, Toph. I think this will do. No entry without an invitation. Ah, the Beifong sort of a uh, ticket thing didn't work. I'm gonna have to tell them who didn't let me in. Oh, you're gonna be in trouble. Who's that guy? I'm sorry to bother you, but my cousin lost our invitations. She's blind. Oh, how are we gonna finesse our way into here? Please come with me. Oh, is he gonna let us in? Oh, let's go. Oh, that's the lead guy, huh? He has a bear. He actually has a bear. Quiet. You don't know what I had to do to get seats this near the bear. Why do you want seats near the bear? I'm Long Fei. Long Fei. To the king. I'm Kwame, and this is Dung. Dung. <laughs> Where is your family? I'd love to meet them. I don't see him right now, but I'm sure we'll find him soon. Oh, careful, guys. Don't worry. As your escort, it would be dishonorable to abandon you ladies without finding your family first. Ah, snap. He's scary. I feel like, I feel like he knows. Oh, my God. Fight time. Yo, they're really, they're really dueling. Why don't you go ahead and firebend at me? No, 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 no. Zuko's nice with the uh, swords. Oh, my God. Yo, got him. Now he doesn't have a sword. You almost got your head cut off, my guy. You see that? The Fire Nation is trying to silence me. <laughs> Bro, you look so happen. crazy right now. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, well, back here. Going back and forth, huh? You found us. I'd know your little footsteps anywhere, Twinkle Toes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but the guy who escorted us in won't let us out of his sight. Yeah, he's kinda crazy and creepy. What are you doing here? Uh oh. Not until we see the king. You don't understand. You must go. Oh, we're in trouble. Uh oh. Oh my god. Ang! Don't shout. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the avatar. Yo. Great way to cause a scene. Good job, Ang. <laughs> oh, you actually putting on a performance. Oh yo, that is actually fire. That's awesome. Oh my god. Okay, back here. We fighting, fighting. Zuko, I'm rooting for you, my guy. Oh my goodness. They really... <laughs> every, like, fight in this show is so awesome. Arrest them! They're firebenders! They're gonna arrest you, my guy. This crazy kid attacked the finest tea maker in the city. Wow. Oh, that's very sweet. Aww. <laughs> Aww, you're in big trouble. So much for that fresh start, Jet. Fire Nation! You have to believe me! Nah. It's crazy because he's right, but you didn't do this right, my guy. Oh, is that the king? That must be the king. What in the world? Greetings, your majesty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. Yo! Oh my god. Yo! These guys are crazy. I am Long Feng, Grand Secretary of Ba Sing Se and head of the Dai Li. Head of the Dai Li. Uh-oh, we were told not to mess with those guys. Why won't you let us talk to the king? We have information that could defeat the Fire Nation. Yeah, why don't they want to talk about the war? All his duties relate to issuing decrees on such matters. It's my job to oversee the rest of the city's resources. So the king actually isn't really like the king of the place. He's like a face of being the king. You have to believe me. They're firebenders. They won't stop until they win the war. What is about to happen to Jet? There's no war in Ba Sing Se. There's no war in Ba Sing Se. Y'all like hiding the fact that there's a war going on. In silencing talk of conflict. Ba Sing Se remains a peaceful, orderly utopia. Nah, this place is way out of whack. He's being hypnotized? There is no war within the walls. He's being hypnotized. We are free. What in the world? Till now, you've been treated as our honored guest. But from now on, you will be watched every moment by Dai Li agents. Yo! You've been looking for your bison. It would be quite a shame if you were not able to complete your quest. And finding Appa? Aw, oh, this guy knows. Wow, we just Hi, got silenced. Please. What happened to Judy? I'm Judy. Nah, this place is creepy. This place is really creepy. 
What in the world? All right, so that was episode number 14 of Avatar The Last Airbender, book two, City of Laws and Secret. And we find out why this episode is called what it's called, because this place is very, very secretive, especially about the war. I mean, the moment that they actually arrived at Ba Sing Se, they got off like the train, which by the way, that little train system they had going where the actual people were earthbenders moving the train was a really cool little, uh, little, little, little cool little knickknack. I really like how the way the Avatar actually does that to where they implement the elements in such a interesting and cool way i mean like i mean when we were at the north pole in book one when we first arrived they used water bending as like an elevator and they had like these uh canals and the river system going on to actually manipulate the boats with water bending and here they have trains manipulated by earth bending so i really like the way the the avatar actually does that where they just implement elements in just such a really cool way i can't wait till we get to the, to the book fire and we get to see how that culture manipulates fire uh to enhance their their daily life i guess it's gonna be really cool i'm really enjoying this show so far in that regard with all the elements it, it makes a really it makes it a really really cool sort of uh, adventure but yeah we arrived in this city and this uh joe d who i guess they have multiple joe d's because we met a another one at the very end of this episode and it was so creepy it's almost like this place is being hypnotized like it seemed like that girl was like putting on like the most fakest smile in the world and her one job was to make sure that they didn't talk about the war i mean every time Sokka brought up like hey i have information that the king really needs to know about the war she just instantly changed the subject and the moment that they started talking to other people she was behind them saying you better not talk like they almost like they know if they talk about the war at any cost they're gonna be put in that same place that jet was put i mean jet throughout this whole episode he was going crazy man he just was so convinced that both zuko and iroh or should i say uh what, what's their what's their fake names lee and mushi <laughs> He was so convinced that they were a Fire Nation, and he's right, but he looks like the crazy one. I mean, he was stalking them, just waiting for them to slip up to actually gain evidence that they're actually Firebenders, and also, when that didn't work, he actually went forward and attacked them, where we got to see one of the more cooler fights that I've seen in this show so far. The fact that that was like a crazy sword fight duel, and they were kind of like bouncing around the cafe was really, really awesome. Thankfully, with that battle, Zuko actually won, and we actually got the, uh, were they Daily agents, or were they just regular authority people? I think they might have been Dai Li, right? We found out that Dai Li is some sort of like, I don't even know, they're, they're almost like CIA agents or something like they're They're completely under wraps and they're very, very intimidating and scary. So I don't think we want to meet them. I, I mean, we, we actually met, I think he said he was the head of the Dai Li agents. That one guy that was just like basically stalking and, you know, continuously following uh, Toph and, and Katara in the whole palace situation, which we're going to talk about that soon. But regarding the whole Jet versus Zuko thing, the, the Dai Li agents or somebody took away jet put him in this like facility where he was being hypnotized saying this place is safe there's no war in bossing say and he was just constantly being hypnotized and that is terrifying bro on regards with a uh, team avatar they're actually like trying to find appa and they're also like above all else trying to find and trying to get in contact with the king uh and they they actually eventually ran over this uh this poster that like i guess was talking about the the bear and the king and the fact that he was going to be at this royal place so they faked it to the point where they were like faking being fancy and then they pretended like they belonged there and they actually got inside. Katara and Toph got dressed up, Sokka and Aang somehow managed to get inside where they actually saw the bear and it was like a whole big fancy party where eventually the king actually came out but that is where we pretty much got captured before we even got to meet the guy and we found out that the king actually isn't really the king he's like the face of Ba Sing Se like he's really not even like a part of the whole military side of the war with Ba Sing Se he's more of just the face of like the the continuous peace the quote-unquote peace with Ba Sing Se everything seems fake there and just overall we found the secret of Ba Sing Se of being this fake place of where they don't talk about war at all and that's like a forbidden thing for the citizens to actually talk about and if they do talk about it they get hypnotized this place is really strange and it honestly seems like a fake safety city of like lies and manipulation and it's creepy this place is creepy but we gotta find appa we gotta somehow contact the king and actually give him important information so i'm excited to see how this all kind of goes another episode however without appa man we have yet to find appa hopefully we can see him in the near future hopefully he's in the city where apparently he's like being sold in like a black market supposedly right that's like the the one thing that we need to find out is like where he is and where he's being sold i mean where is he i i miss appa Appa, man. So hopefully we can find Appa in the near future. Needless to say, that is going to be it for this episode of Avatar The Last Year. But if you guys enjoyed episode number 14 of Book 2's reaction, you guys already know what to do. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. But with that being said, I'll be seeing you on the next one.
Peace.